Hello everyone, I am the Affirmation Queen. I love affirming myself and others. I am so glad that you tuned into my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe. I am so happy to be before you on today. And today I am going to be speaking to you about how I became a queen to meet and marry my king. Again, I will say it, how I became a queen to meet and marry my king. I absolutely adore and love my husband. And I must say that my husband is my best friend. I mean, we are like best friends. I can truly say that I am married to my best friend. And I so appreciate the Most High God for sending him into my life. I'm going to give you a brief story about how I met my husband. But prior to me meeting my husband, I want to tell you a little bit about myself and how I was. Anyway, on the particular day that I met my husband, it was a Sunday night. I remember it like it was yesterday. I never go to church at 6 p.m. Now, in my church, there's four services, and I would consider my church to be a mega church. It's a very large church. I absolutely love Grace Church and the people, the pastors. It's a very loving, free, just like a free spirit. It's, it's Grace. That's what it is. The, the church is entitled. The, the name of the church is Grace Church. And that's what you feel when you walk through the door. Just an abundance of grace, an abundance of love, an abundance of favor. So on this particular Sunday, I went to the 6 p.m. service. Now, I usually go to 12 o'clock service, 12 p.m. But this particular day, I woke up with an attitude. I mean, I just really had a, a bad attitude. Some people say, oh, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? I said, no, I woke up on the right side of the bed. However, I had the wrong attitude going on, okay? And I did. But this particular day, my attitude pushed me into what I would call greatness. Because really, I woke up being sick and tired of the carnal, the fleshly person that I was, okay? Or the person, the woman of ego. Uh, and, and just just being in the flesh, you know, the fleshly woman, really not knowing who I was. And so, see, sometimes when you don't know who you are in God, and when you've spoken negativity over to over your life, you know how we talked about the words "I am" and not using those words, not using positive words after the words "I am." That is actually living in like a carnal state. And so when I woke up with this with this negative attitude, I actually was coming in. I was actually growing. I was actually birthing the woman who um, I always wanted to be the woman that that God created me to be, because we are created in the image and likeness of God. You know, and so I actually woke up, I actually birthed out this this queen this particular day and didn't even realize it until I look back on it. So I was walking into church and on, and on this day, like I said, I had an attitude and I'm walking in a church and I'm looking up. I'm looking up at the ceiling and I'm looking up at the ceiling like I'm looking at God. Now I'm looking up. My mouth is not moving, but my head is moving and my body language is, is going back and forth. And I'm talking to God in my mind. And I imagine if somebody was to see me or looked at me that day, they probably, probably thought I was crazy because I'm looking up like this. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm saying to God, God, I am a great woman. I am a woman who deserves a good man. And I'm telling God this. I'm like, I'm a good woman. I deserve a great man. I cook good food. I clean. I am an encourager. I will encourage my husband. I mean, I'm telling God all of this in the vestibule area of my church. Looking up to him. Telling him what I am. Yes, and moving my neck, ladies. Yes, I was. I was moving my neck. 
And I'm walking in and I was just frustrated. Just frustrated that I did not have a husband. I wanted a husband. I did. I wanted a husband. I wanted a great man. I wanted a man after God's heart. Not only that, I was telling God when I was walking through the vestibule area, going into the sanctuary, I said, God, I need a man from Ghana, West Africa. I mean, I told God this. And the reason why I wanted a man from Ghana, West Africa is because I was doing some research on the country. And I have family members who've, who've been to Ghana and I've had friends who've gone to Ghana. And everything that I heard about Ghana was positive. I heard that the men are great men. They love their families. They love their women. You know, they're hardworking. Uh, they love education. They love the most high God. I heard nothing but positivity about men from Ghana, West Africa. And so I said, you know what? That's what I need. I want somebody from Ghana. Not only did I want somebody from Ghana, I wanted an Akan. Now, an Akan is a tribe. It's, well, it's a group. It's, it's Afantis and Shantis, I believe. If I'm 100% if I'm correct, I believe that there's two groups, two tribes that make up the Akan people. Well, they are very special people. Shout out to all of my Akan brothers and sisters. I love you with the love of the Most High God, and I love everyone. But this is just a special shout out to you all. Um, so I just told the Most High what I wanted. I let God know that this is what I wanted. And when I walked into the church, I sat in the last row. Now, I never do that. I usually always go to the front of the church. And like I said, our church is a fairly large church, very large. Not fairly. It is a, it's a large church. I would consider it to be a mega church. But I sat in the back of the the back of the church, the last row, and I remember that the the um, praise and worship leader was up, and the praise team, and they were singing praises, and I wasn't really paying any attention to it. I, I must say, I was just like, okay, huh, 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 you know, and I was still thinking about what I wanted. And then the pastor said, "Well, turn to your neighbor and." To greet your neighbor. And so I turn to my left and I look over and what do I see? <laughs> I see this handsome man. And you know, I said hello to him and he said hello to me. I won't do my husband's accent because he does not like when I try to imitate him. You know, so we said he say we said hello to one another and then the service went on. And then after church, we went back out to the vestibule area and we started to talk. And here we were from the same, well, not from the same city, but we lived in the same city. And I was just like, wow. So I asked him a question. I said, may I ask you a question? And he said, yes. I said, are you from Ghana? And he said, yes. And I said, can I guess your tribe? <laughs> And he said yes. And so I said, "Are you a are you an Akan an Ashanti?" And you know, he said yes. And I was like, "Wow!" You know, I was like, "Wow!" And really, ladies and gentlemen, the rest is history. I mean, I am married to a fabulous man. Yes, he put a ring on it. <laughs> I am so thankful and so happy and just full of joy to have such an amazing man. He's a wonderful husband. He's a wonderful father. He is the king of our, our home. But ladies, on this particular day, I got sick and tired of who I was. See, prior to this day, I thought of myself as a woman. Which is fine. It's fine to be just, you know, a woman. Thought of myself as a lady, but I never really saw myself as a wife. There's a scripture that says, when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Okay, when a man findeth a wife. And what this means is, prior to being a wife, you have to be a wife. Because it says, when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing. So in my past relationships that I had, 
I'm not going to say that anyone was bad because no one was bad. I will say it was me. It wasn't my time yet, nor had I realized that I am a wife. I am a queen and I deserve a king. I had to come to that realization. You know how it says like attracts like? When a man find it for wife, he find it for good thing. If you desire to be someone's wife, walk as a wife would walk. Speak as a wife would speak. See, prior to this, that I wasn't doing that. And I had to realize who I was because I asked God. I was very specific. I wrote it down. I did. I had my vision journal and I wrote in it what I wanted in a man. I wanted my husband to be from Ghana, West Africa. I wanted my husband to be in a con. I wanted my husband to have the heart of God. And he truly, if anyone who knows my husband knows he has the heart of God, he is an amazing man. And the spirit of God dwells within him. He is so just, he's just a great man. He's so uh, just, I can't even, words can't even describe how much I, I truly love him and how good of a man he is. And if God brought this man into my life, that means that I'm a good woman. And so he can yoke us together and bring us together and we become one. So the things that I was doing in the past was I was not speaking or I should say walking the way a wife should walk. Now I wasn't out here doing things that were crazy, but I didn't know who I was. I was using the words I am negatively. Okay, I'm so sad. I don't know when, when am I going to have a husband or, you know, in this down low, woe am I type of move, woe am I type of movement. No, that's not how I'm supposed to walk. We're supposed to walk with our heads held up high because we are queens. Because we are created in the image and likeness of God. Because we are beautiful and because we have a queen inside of us. I remember studying the Hebrew, studying some Hebrew words. And the Hebrew word for the Holy Spirit is Ra Ruach, Hakadesh. Ra Ruach, the Holy Spirit. And in the Hebrew, the Ruach is a feminine spirit. It is. It's a feminine spirit. Look it up. And so I started thinking about that. I said, wow, maybe this is why in the book of Proverbs, the word wisdom is known as a she. It says wisdom, she crieth out. Wisdom is the giver of riches and the giver of blessings. This is in the book of Proverbs. Look it up. If you have a concordance, Look up the word wisdom and then go to the book of Proverbs and you will see that. If you have a Vines dictionary, look up the word Holy Spirit and you will see the Ruach. Ra Ruach and you will see that Ra Ruach in Hebrew is feminine. So I began to think about that as well. I have to know that inside of me is powerful, wonderful, a gracious spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. Jesus said the kingdom of God dwells within me. Now, I know that I'm going back on what I was speaking about a couple weeks ago, but it all comes together. It's all together. It's all one. In order for me to be a wonderful woman and a wonderful wife, I had to become that before, prior to meeting my husband on the inside. And when I look back on the day that I met my husband, that's what happened to me. I got tired of being in the flesh. This flesh right here, this carnal state, this ego, I got tired of that. I dealt, got deep down within from within and said, I am a good woman. I told God, I said, I am a good woman. And I guess God was looking at me saying, well, you finally realize that? <laughs> I've been trying to tell you that for the whole, for, for a long time. Now you finally got it, huh? 
And so I must truly say that I am so blessed and happy to have a man of God. And ladies, that's what you want. You want a man that has the heart of God. You want a man that realizes who you are and realizes who he is and realizes whose daughter you are and knows whose son he is. The son of the most high God. This is what we want as women, as ladies. So it goes back to write the vision and make it plain. Get your vision journals out. If you're not married, get your vision journals out. Write down what it is that you want. And I wrote it down a while ago. My grandmother told me about vision books and vision journals a long time ago. She did it. At the top of her, she had scriptures on it at the bottom. And in the back of her vision board, she had a vision board. She had wrote, she wrote a, um, a request out for my parents to have me. She said, uh, please let my son, Philip, and my daughter-in-law, Mary, have a healthy child. This was even before my mother was pregnant. And here I am. <laughs> here I am. Write the vision and make it plain. Remember that you are a queen and that the kingdom of God dwells within you. Know who you are. And know whose you are. Because if you don't know whose you are, you cannot know who you are. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we have amnesia. Spiritual amnesia. Sometimes we do. But oh, when it comes to us. And when we begin to know who we are. And know that we are queens. Then the blessings just flow and flow and flow. Because the blessings have not stopped flowing. They have not stopped flowing. I hope and pray that this video has helped you. I hope and pray that you are writing your vision and making it plain. I hope and pray that every time you speak the words I am, you are speaking positive, powerful, high vibrational words after the words I am. Because the words I am are the name of the Most High God. You are beautiful. You are wonderfully made and you are loved. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. This is the Affirmation Queen saying bye-bye.